It's my mother's souffle. <laughs> it's your mama's souffle? Yes. And did it start out as sort of an accident? It did. <laughs> you know, uh, I think my mother got married in 1933. She was 17 years old. She was a baby. Yeah, but then she had a restaurant later on, but at that time, she didn't really know how to cook. And my father said, I love souffle. She told him, I'll do that. So she asked someone, how do I do a souffle? And a friend of her tell her, all you do is a white sauce, like a bechamel, bechamel. I just did here yeah. in two minutes. And then you put eggs in it and cheese and so forth. No one told her to separate the eggs or do anything like that. So she never separated the eggs. So she did it wrong, yes. but it's now how he does it. Well, for that, yeah, I, I'm putting it to cool off here because otherwise you have to wait like 10 minutes so you don't cook your egg. So I cool it up a little bit in there. But so it's cooling it down. So basically you just made white sauce, so yeah, flour, that's butter. It. Yeah, that's it. And milk, yes. Milk, that's it. And then we have six eggs. And, and when did she cheese. teach you to do this? When she came well, to your house? Yeah, she came to my house in Connecticut probably over 50 years ago. And uh, I said, what are we going to have for dinner? Mom, and she said, I'm going to make a souffle tonight. I said, oh, yeah, great, terrific. So she does the souffle, she does a bechamel like that, starts putting her eggs. I said, Mom, it's not going to work. She said, don't worry about it, OK? <laughs> yeah, I remember that in my family, I have 12 restaurants. 12 of them owned by women, you know. So you don't, you don't tell the women in his family no. how not to do something. Right. <laughs> you know, from 56 to 58, I was the chef to the president in France, really three presidents with the goal. So I'm saying that to say that when I came back and went back to my house in Lyon and my aunt, uh, I would go there and uh, get into the kitchen with them, and they push me out. They say, no, no, move out. You use too much butter. No, no, you do it too much. <laughs> you don't, you I don't mean, do it right. I was so the she... chef of the president. No one was and, impressed at that's all. That's right. But that didn't impress them. Uh, the, uh, the same runs true in Sicilian families, I, I have to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's so, so here. Oh, I forget the shive. All right, fine. Yeah, just throw it on top. It'll be fine. Yeah, we... Uh, Jack already made one, literally his. It's in yeah. the oven now, so the, the chives are in there. <laughs> and you know, the beauty of that is that you can do that a day ahead or hours ahead. doesn't really matter. It's a bechamel with eggs. And uh, when I have some leftover, I put it back in the oven, it puffs again. Oh, it repuffs. Yeah. Fabulous. Some, sometime when I have it <clears throat> left over, we unmold it and look warm. We slice it and serve it with a vinaigrette. Oh, that's so you delicious. Could, yeah. So, uh, so you can this do it. Was, was this Gria? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that Gria. And then a little parm on top? Yeah, on yes. top, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I want some too, Jacques, really. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. Jacques, so, how long does it take to poop? Wow. So it takes about 40 minutes for this. Look at this. Wow. Uh, yeah. This is just. Is that, is that about good? Cooked. It's yeah, beautiful. We need... Yeah, yeah, good. good. So. <laughs> Here, Jacques. Oh!